Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. The subject of my vlog today is riding in tandem, contract killings in the Philippines. But before I get started, let me welcome my new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel. Truly been amazing. I never take that for granted. I'm a 58-year-old American who grew tired of the rat race, decided to move to the Philippines in search of a new life. Well, I found that new life, and I want to share with you my boots on the ground experiences. The only way I know how is by giving you the nitty-gritty. It's just exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing. I'm never going to sugarcoat that. It's not going to start today. Coming to you today, it's not even 8 o'clock a.m. on a Tuesday morning. Just walking around in my neighborhood because it's raining, as you can see. Trying to use this stupid phone best I can. This is a beautiful neighborhood. I really enjoy it. You know, my channel is an adult channel. Most of my viewers are 45 and over. And I give you the 360, man. I'm not going to hold back. And that goes for today, you know, talking about riding in tandem. Contract killings in the Philippines. Riding in tandem is just simply gun for hire killers using a motorcycle. Usually what happens is you have the driver of the motorcycle, then the gunman is usually the passenger. And they simply just ride up to the victim, boom, boom, couple of shots to the head with that 45 caliber, which seems to be the weapon of choice and then they're on their way. Few if any witnesses, you know, they use that motorcycle because, you know, it gives them easy access to the target and then speedy getaway. I mean, it's the preferred method for criminal gangs, you know, political and business rivals even sibling rivalry to, to exact revenge or to get rid of the competition. And it's become so bad that the authorities here, they've, they've tried just about everything. They've, uh, it's no longer mandatory to wear helmets, motorcycle helmets in certain cities. They ban riding tandem altogether in other cities. They required uh, larger license plates and nothing seems to be able to slow it down. In 2016, over 5,000 murders, 5,000 victims of this deadly duo. And in 2017, 18, and 19, over 3,000, and nobody's exempt. Judges, journalists, lawyers, personalities, it doesn't matter. Politicians, businessmen, foreigners, and locals, the masses, nobody's exempt. And when I talk to y'all the time and I say, you know, that Western, way of thinking doesn't work over here. This is a perfect example. See, a lot of petty rivalries and petty arguments are solved with this riding in tandem contract. It's cheap, it's deadly, and the people are very seldom apprehended. You come over here, and if you follow my rule number one, which means shut the fuck up and mind your own business, you're not gonna have any problem. But you come over here with all that old macho, good morning, one boon talk. All that old macho entitlement attitude and you arguing with people you don't know. You don't know if they the VIP, if they the barangay captain, if they're the congressman, if they're the richest man in the city. You just arguing, because you used to arguing in your own country, and then going home and cooling down. 
You want to have the last word. Well, let me tell you something. It will be your last word over here. You can't win an argument over here. A lot of times it's going to end bad like that. It's very, very cheap. Let me give you an example. One Japanese businessman was killed moments after he arrived in Manila. This isn't funny, guys. It's just something that it boggles my mind. The minute, I mean, he wasn't in Manila, according to the newspaper, two hours. He was dead. An American military, ex-military, retired, living in Baha, with his Filipino wife and the three children, went out for a local, I mean, for his morning run, like he always does at 5.30 a.m. Well, the locals said they heard motorcycles, which was, you know, uncommon at that early morning. One shot to the head, one shot to the back. He was finished. Mayan Buntak. And that's usually what happens. See, they watch you. They know you. They know your routine. You go out to get your morning cup of coffee, or your newspaper, or your hot bread. And that's the end of you. So I just wanted to come and talk to you a little bit today, make a short video about this, because I don't want you to get blindsided over here. You cannot win an argument over here, guys. Stay humble. Stay under the radar, which now that I'm Sunshine Short, it's hard for me to do, but not really. I can stay under the radar. I know my place over here. You know, and I hear a lot of foreigners over here and some of my friends and all oh, don't let people take advantage of you well look fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me you know I'm not at home I know that you know you might get me a couple of thousand pesos I'm gonna let that go because my life is worth more than that you know one of my friends says oh don't let people take advantage of you yeah well sometimes you just gotta you know Turn the other cheek over here, man. You know, in, in a certain instances, because your life is worth more than that. And they don't do business in the Philippines the same way as they do it in your home country. So thank you for stopping by. You know, I always like to talk to you because I don't want you to get over here because you're going to pick up the newspaper. Hardly ever a day goes by that you don't pick up the newspaper and you see a victim of that riding in tandem, that deadly duel, contract kill in the Philippines. Just the other day, 53 year old Filipino, he was a, now listen to this, he was a security guard. You know, they don't earn a lot of money, so there's no telling what he did. Maybe he owed somebody a debt. You know, there's no telling what he did. He was with his why even two children on a motorcycle? And let me remind you that they don't care if you by yourself or you with somebody else. Good morning. Sometimes they kill everybody, then sometimes they just kill the victim, whoever the target is. I guess whatever instructions they're given. But yeah, he was killed coming from work. It doesn't matter, guys, you know, be careful come to the Philippines to have a good time you don't come over here you know to get in arguments and you know uh, and get killed so if in America it's getting late I hope you help somebody before you get in the bed but if you're on one of them late grocery runs beer runs weed runs you're just getting off second shift you're on your lunch break you see somebody in the street buy them something to eat buy them something to drink give them a few dollars if you're in the Philippines, it's about 8 a.m. in the morning. Tuesday morning, it's raining. I didn't get to play tennis today. I don't care. I'm getting ready to go home, take a shower, and get ready for my... There's Bill, my buddy from California. Say what's up, Bill. Hey, what's up, everybody? Good to see you, man. I'm Good getting ready to go home and get ready for my live. What part of California are you from? Uh, Ventura. Ventura, California. How far is that from L.A., Bill? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. I saw where your wife joined the... Beauty contest. That's a joke. <laughs> Take care, Bill. All right, bro. Now look how good Bill is, cause he exercises, man. That's why I tell you guys, when you come over here, don't sit on the 
bars to drinking all day, you know. But yeah, help somebody tonight. In the Philippines, you know, there's no excuse why you shouldn't go out and intentionally find somebody to help, either a local or foreigner, man. If they need our help, I think we should help them because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure, and we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time. Join me on my live stream this morning. We're going to talk about how much does it cost to build a house in the Philippines. This is going to be interesting, guys. Okay? Thank you.